The Fence Charger, the heart of the electric fence system. There's no perfect way to recommend a charger for your animals, since every farm and paddock setup can be so different. So we'll run through some common question areas for people deciding which charger is right for their setup. The first choice is figuring out the power source you'll need for your charger between AC, plug-in power, solar power, or battery power. If you have an AC 110 volt outlet near your fence, that is the recommended method for powering your fence. Generally speaking, AC fence chargers provide the best output and range of power for all charger types and they only require approximately two cents of electricity a day. AC chargers are the most popular type of fence charger used in permanent electric fencing. Solar chargers are ideal for remote locations or areas without AC power. Solar chargers are great options that offer flexible and reliable fence power. Best used for rotational grazing pastures and smaller fence setups. Solar chargers range in size from two to 30 miles and store enough electricity to power your fence for up to two weeks without sunlight. With proper maintenance, these solar charger batteries will need replaced every three to four years and the sunlight is free. Battery chargers offer a little more overall power for remote locations as they range from five to 50 miles. These chargers use either a standard 12 volt, six volt, four volt, or D cell battery depending on your charger size and most chargers will perform best using a deep cycle marine battery. The frequency these batteries will need replaced varies depending on how often your fence grounds out. In other words, if animals are touching the fence often, or if weeds or limbs are touching the fence, the battery will drain faster. Monitor the fence with a voltage tester to determine when a new battery is needed. Once you decide on your power source, the next topic is the size of your charger. There are many types of power metrics you can use to describe electric fencing, so it will come down to what makes the most sense to you to make the best decision. Power metrics cover mileage ratings, joule ratings, voltage ratings, acreage coverage, and animal type recommendations. To start, recognize with any electric fence system, there is no such thing as a perfectly operating fence. Voltage loss can occur at many places on the fence line. Poor grounding setup will cause power not to be received by your charger. Whether it's not enough ground rods, not long enough ground rods, poor soil moisture, or less than ideal metals, there are many potential issues when it comes to fence grounding, and it's the most common problems with electric fence setups. Broken insulators can leak electric current to posts. Weeds and grass touching lines will drain voltage. Voltage running down a fence line will also naturally lose power the further away it is from your fence charger. Rain, snow, cold. These weather events will also draw voltage down on your fence line. Bottom line, there is more to lose buying too little power instead of buying too much power. Mileage ratings on chargers are based off the maximum length voltage can be carried down a single fence line to safely contain your animals. Take the amount of fence line you have Include all wires, and then for a minimum power recommendation, at least double that length to ensure you'll have enough power once all of these power draining elements factor into your fence system. It's the safest way to ensure there is enough voltage at all points on your fence. A joule is the measurement of energy used to rate low impedance chargers. Joule ratings come in two forms, stored joules and output joules. Store joules will always be the higher number, as this is the amount of joules the charger has internally. Output joules is the actual measure of power that will be put out on your fence line, and therefore the only number that matters to your animals. Voltage is the difference in charge between your ground and fence terminal. This power metric measures the actual shock force you feel on the fence line. Final factors to consider when buying a charger are the warranty offered for your charger. Look for a safety approved label on AC chargers. The wire type you're using influences the electric current as different metals and wire structures conduct electricity differently. Less conductive wire types require stronger power ratings. Almost all modern chargers feature low impedance technology. Low impedance was created with animal safety in mind as it introduces breaks in the electric pulse in one second intervals. This minimizes the amount of electric contact with the animal, 
while saving power. Continuous current is the opposite of low impedance and is a constant electric charge on the line. Hopefully this video has cleared up a few fence charger decisions for you. If you have additional questions, give us a call at 855-592-7322.